Hi everyone, my name is Mary and welcome back to Queen Ink. This is going to be the Granny Triangle Cardigan part number two. And in this part, I am going to show you how to connect these three triangles right here to make the sleeve that we have back here. I felt that um, in the last video I was probably not very clear. So as for the sleeves, you will make a top portion and a bottom portion. So this is the first one and then we will be making the second one, okay? So it is the two blues as you can see here, the purple triangle in the middle like this, and then of course the two um, quarter triangles on the side like this, okay? Now I apologize for not being around since 4th of July. I'm going to try and get out as many videos as I can. I've just been working a lot and then on top of that I ended up getting two kidney stones that I was passing. So pretty much I ended up taking a leave of absence from work. So don't forget to grab your J10 5.75 millimeter crochet hook and your blue yarn or whatever yarn you are using to connect these triangles okay um, at the end of the video I will also show you how to single crochet all the way around the sleeves okay so let's get started alrighty so I am back so you're gonna grab your quarter triangle and one of your triangles right here we're gonna do the blue blue and purple and then the two purples on the side so make sure you have your quarter triangle so you'll just turn it from the front like this and then just turn it to where these stitches are connected to these stitches make sure you have your slip knot ready okay so we'll just make a really quick one right now there we go we're going to start in this corner right here where the ch double crochet chain one three double crochets are and same with this one double crochet chain one and three double crochets okay we are actually going to put our hook into that chain one put our um, yarn onto our hook and pull through move your slipped um, your slip tail, excuse me, move your tail out of the way, yarn over and pull through to make a slip knot. I normally like to pull up on that to tighten it. Okay, and then we're just going to chain two. So yarn over and pull through, pull up a little bit, yarn over and pull through. Grab your little purple one over here we're going to go into that stitch, grab our working yarn, pull through and pull through for a slip stitch. We'll go back into this chain one space, yarn over, go into the stitch, grab your working yarn, pull up a loop, grab your working yarn and pull through two, grab your working yarn and pull through two for a double crochet. You'll make two more double crochets right into that spacing. This is how we are going to join our triangles. Okay, make sure this does not get twisted. So if it's twisted this way, just push it up. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to the purple, put our crochet hook in, grab our working yarn, pull up a loop, and pull through for a slip stitch. And you're gonna grab your blue and put three double crochets right into that chain stitch. Okay, and then into this space, you're gonna put one slip stitch. We are going to repeat this until we get to the end right here, which will be the top of the triangle and the side of the quarter triangle. I will meet you down there in just a few moments. Alrighty, I am back and as you can see I made it to the top of the triangle and the side of the quarter triangle. 
Once you get to this point, you will put a slip stitch right into the spacing. And you will put three double crochets right into the top of that triangle. Um, that is the blue one. Two and three. Okay. You'll go back to that purple right there and you'll put one more slip stitch right into that purple. And then you'll go back into the blue for a double crochet. And there you are. And that's done. And you have connected your triangle to your quarter triangle. What I like to do to finish this off, because sometimes I feel like it's still not done, I'll go back to this purple, find a stitch right here, put my hook into it, grab it, and pull through. And then you can just take your scissors, cut your yarn, yarn over, and pull through. And there you go, nice and connected. You have a blue triangle and a purple quarter triangle both connected. The next one that you're going to grab is going to be the purple triangle and we're going to connect that one next. Alrighty, now that you have your purple triangle and all your strings are sewn in, make sure to sew in all your strings, flip your triangle upside down like this. We are going to connect our purple triangle to this blue triangle and we're going to start at the bottom of the triangle down here and at the top of the purple triangle here. What I normally like to do before I start is turn my work this way. So that way I'm now working on the top of the triangle and the bottom of the blue triangle. You'll grab your slip knot, your purple triangle and your blue triangle and put them up against each other like this. What I like to do is I like to put my hook into the top of the triangle Put my yarn onto my hook and pull through. And then I move my yarn tail out of the way, yarn over and pull through. Then I grab onto this loop and I pull tight. So this loop now is nice and tight because that is my slip knot, not a loop on the hook. Now I'm going to chain two, one and two. Grab my blue triangle one more time. I'm going to open up that double crochet, chain one, and three double crochets. We're going to go right into that chain one space, grab our working yarn, and make a slip stitch. Then we're going to go back in, excuse me, we're going to go back into this chain two space right here at the top of the purple triangle and put three double crochets right into that chain two space. Two and three. Perfect. Now we're going to go back to the blue and we're going to find that chain one space and make a slip stitch. Then you're going to grab your purple and then in that purple chain one space right next door you're going to put three double crochets. One, two, and three. What you're going to do now is you're going to go back to the blue and put a slip stitch right into that chain one space. You'll repeat this all the way until you get to the bottom of the purple triangle and the top of the blue triangle. I will meet you down there in just a few moments. All right, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so now we have reached the top of the blue triangle and the side of the purple triangle. And yes, I just finished the three double crochets, so you guessed it. We are going to put a slip stitch right here into the top of the blue triangle. And then we're going to put three double crochets into this chain one space right here in between the three double crochets and the double crochet. You guessed it. Sorry about that. I was trying to act like an instructional video. I wanted to see if it worked out. I just, 
I couldn't do it. It was too funny. Sorry about that, guys. I, was, I wasn't meaning to mess with you. Okay, now that you've got your three double crochets, you're going to flip back and you're going to put a slip stitch right into this um, chain two stitch from the blue triangle. Okay, then you're going to flip back over to the purple, you guessed it, and you're going to put a double crochet right into this um, space where we just put the three double crochets. Okay, now we're going to flip out our work, okay, and this is what it looks like so far. So what you're going to do is, is since you're at this point, we're going to turn it and flip it up towards us, okay, because this is where we're working. Now you see this chain right here? This is where you're going to put right here at the very top next to where that purple is. You're going to put a slip stitch. Okay, and that is going to finish it off and connect um, all three of the triangles. Don't forget to grab your scissors, give it a little cut, wrap your yarn around your hook, pull right through, and then pull up and tighten okay and there we go so now we have connected zoom out the quarter triangle and two triangles okay so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your next blue triangle and you're gonna connect it right here with the purple so just go back through the video just like we just did and you'll connect the bottom purple here and the top of the triangle okay and you'll connect these two together and connect them I will be back shortly once these two are connected and then the last thing we'll do is connect this quarter triangle um, to the end of this blue triangle then we'll single crochet alrighty I am back and I connected the blue triangle to the purple triangle. So the last thing we have to do is connect this quarter triangle to the blue triangle right here. So make sure you have your slip knot ready to go and grab your crochet hook and we're going to connect this. So you're going to grab the bottom of your triangle right here and you're going to turn your quarter triangle to where the stitches are up like this and you're going to grab the side of the purple triangle okay and then you're going to put your crochet hook right into here put it onto put the yarn onto your crochet hook and pull up with slip stitch I'll zoom in You're going to yarn over, pull up on that stitch so that way it's nice and tight. And then you're going to chain two, grab your purple triangle right here, go into that stitch, grab your working yarn, pull up a loop, and pull right through for a slip stitch. Okay. And then you're going to go into this chain right here, yarn over for three double crochets. One, try and hold your work so that way it doesn't turn. <clears throat> Two double crochets and three. Okay, so there's the start and then you're going to go into the purple chain one and you're gonna make a slip stitch so that's the purple chain one right there that we always that we always do and then back into this stitch for three doubles one two and three all right I think at this point you kinda of have an idea of what to do slip stitch Oop, not a single slip stitch, three doubles, slip stitch, three doubles. I'll meet you down here at the end so we can finish off and then we will single crochet all the way around.
I will be back shortly. Alrighty, so I have made it down to the bottom where I have one more chain one space and then I'm at the two chain space at the top of the triangle. We are going to slip stitch into the chain one space at the top where the triangle is, uh, excuse me, quarter triangle. And then we are going to put three doubles into this chain two space. One and two and three. And you guessed it, we're going to do pull this apart or pull this back, go back into this chain one purple stitch right here. Whoop. For a slip stitch and then one double crochet back into the chain two space. And then at the top right here where this is, you're going to um, I normally pull it apart. There's the hole right there. I normally put my hook right into that stitch right there. It's closer to the purple where we slip stitch, grab my working yarn, pull through and pull through and then cut off my yarn. And then yarn over and pull through and tighten. Now at this point you are going to want to sew in all of your strings before you start to single crochet. And so I'm going to grab a needle and uh, I'm going to grab a darning needle and I'm going to sew in all these strings so we do not have to worry about it. The last thing that we're going to do in this video is we're going to single crochet around this project. Um, the next thing that you will have to do once this video is over is one more of these. So this would be the bottom of your sleeve and then you will make a top sleeve. And then in the next video I will show you how to connect both the bottom and the top sleeve. Okay, I will be right back. I'm going to sew these strings in and then we'll get to crocheting. Alright, we are back and I sewed in all the strings as you can see and you are going to hear my husband snoring in the background I apologize um, he is tired and taking a nap but as you can see all strings are nice and sewn in okay so you can begin anywhere you would like on this pattern I am going to begin in the corner right here at the very top okay um, we are going to put our hook in here Make sure you have a slip knot, and yes, we are still using the dark blue. Put your yarn onto your slip knot, put that right through the spacing, yarn over and pull through, pull down to tighten that slip knot. We are going to do single crochets, so we're going to chain one, and we're going to put two single crochets all into this spacing. One. Go into the stitch, grab your working yarn, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through for a single crochet. So you have two single crochets. This is a corner. When we come back around, we'll put one more into this uh, spacing and then we will slip stitch. Now I'm going to turn my work because we are going to now be working down the side whoops, of our cardigan or actually our sleeve, excuse me. Okay, so we are going to be working down our sleeve. Now, instead of trying to find places of where you wanna put your crochet hook, like right here or here or here, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna make this a little bit easier. So these spaces that you see right here, which are the chain one and the double crochets, you're going to put two single crochets into those spacings. One, and two, two single crochets. Next one, you're gonna just put, go right into that spacing and do a single crochet. This is how easy this stitch is. Two single crochets into the next one and two. And that's the pattern that you're going to use all the way around. Okay, so into the next spacing, you're gonna do two single crochets one and two, next spacing, two single crochets. 
we are making this very easy. All right, so now we're coming up onto this cluster. You're going to pull it apart and find three, one, two, and three spacings, okay? And all you're gonna do is into that first one, you're just going to put a single crochet. Into the second one, you're gonna put a single crochet. And into that third one, you're going to put a single crochet. Three single crochets, okay? Now if you'd like, you can put more single crochets. Um, we're just trying to make this even all the way around instead of just adding stitches and all the stitches are uneven. Okay, so I am coming up real quick onto this piece right here. Give me one second. Two single crochets into every spacing. I apologize for my light. I always keep trying to make it bright and it keeps wanting to make these shadows. Alright, last two single crochets. When you get to the middle portion of your triangle, which is this right here, you're going to go right into that spacing and make one single crochet. You're going to make two single crochets into every stitch, three into this one, two single crochets, and I'll meet you down here at the very end. I'll be back momentarily. Alrighty, we are back and I made it down to this end. Once you get here, this is going to be your quarter triangle and this will be the starting point where you started when you first crocheted this. We're going to end up putting, all right, so we're gonna end up putting three single crochets right into this spacing, so one, two, and three. Because one, this is gonna be one of your corners and you are turning that corner. Okay, and then we're gonna keep going to the next corner. So two single crochets into every stitch, excuse me, into every spacing. I don't know why I keep doing that. One, and two, one, and two, one, and two, and last one. Okay, so when you get to this point right here, I'm going to pull it out. Okay, you're gonna to get to this point right here. So you have this sector as your corner. As you're coming along, you can make this sector your corner, but it's gonna be kind of a short corner, as you can see. So we wanna make this blue um, chain two right here uh, a corner. And so that'll give it the right spacing that we're looking for. And you wanna do this for all four sleeves, both the top portions and both of the bottom portions. Two single crochets right into here. Ooh. Okay, and then once you get to this portion right here, you're going to put three single crochets right into the stitch. So one, two, and three and that will make your quarter for you, as you can see. So three single crochets right into that chain two space. Then you'll just turn your work and you will start working two single crochets into every single stitch. Okay, and so you will go down the line working two single crochets, middle of your triangle right here, you will only put one single crochet, keep working, three single crochets down here at the very bottom, one, two single crochets into every um, spacing, one single crochet right here. When I am done working all the way down the line, and then don't forget this portion right here, this will be your side piece, as you can see we're, where we're almost at the end, 
This is where you'll put three single crochets. This is where I will meet you is this very last corner. I'll be back shortly. Alrighty, so we have made it to that corner stitch right there and we're just going to put three single crochets right into that stitch. So one, two, and three. Right into that corner stitch right there. And if you give me one second, I have to move my light so that way um, everyone can see. All right, so there you go. Three single crochets, one, two, and three. Okay, and then all we're going to do is put two single crochets into every stitch. Sorry about the shadows. It's just something that's going to happen. <laughs> Okay, I'll meet you down at the other end. Okay, here we are down at the other end. Two more single crochets right into that stitch right there, okay? And into this very last stitch right here, we are going to put one more single crochet. And at the top of this single crochet right here, right into that stitch, you're going to pop a slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through, and pull right through. You're going to grab your scissors and you're going to cut off. Alright, you're going to yarn over, pull through, and pull through, and tighten. Alright, so there we go. We are actually done with this sleeve. I will pull it out and show you what it looks like. Okay, so there's from one end to the other end. Okay, it's all single crocheted. You will make two of these if you want sleeves. If not, you can make um, the granny triangle cardigan into a sleeveless cardigan if you so choose, okay? Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for tuning in. Please do not forget to scroll down, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment, um, and don't forget to hit the like button. And until next time, bye bye